G'day Legends Immortal here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Blue Stacks error for Call of Dragons so you can play it on PC. Okay guys, I've just had a few people uh, talk to me about how to play Call of Dragons on PC. Uh, there are a couple of people having the problem uh, that you see on the screen when they try to load it up on BlueStacks. It says your device does not support this game. Uh, and then you're unable to get into the game at all. So you press confirm and it shuts it down. I just want to do a quick video to show you how to fix that. Uh, you just go down to your settings here. Go to graphics, change graphics engine mode to compatibility. Change the interface renderer to OpenGL and change the ASTC textures to hardware decoding and then save your changes. BlueStacks will ask you to restart, so you should then go ahead and restart it. And we'll just wait for that to load. And start Call of Dragons. And you can see that it's loading this time. There are a couple of things that I just wanted to talk a little bit about with BlueStacks. This is a, a very new game. So I don't think uh, BlueStacks has uh, fully compatible with it yet. Uh, I did have a couple of issues with it when, uh, when I was trying to record some videos. And it crashed on me a couple of times, especially once there was a, like a lot of fighting or lots of legions uh, on the screen. So I looked around and I found someone who said who uh, recommended that I get LD player. Uh, so I went ahead and downloaded that. Now I just wanted to um, quickly show uh, something here. If you go to your settings in game and you go to graphics, you'll see here that it says according to your specs, your recommended graphics quality is middle. According to your specs, your recommended frame rate is middle. Now I'm on a, a very powerful gaming PC. Uh, I've got a 3080 Ti and a Ryzen 7 processor. So there's absolutely no issues with uh, compute power. But if you go into LD Player, and I'll just quickly show you. Uh, I, I have been using LD Player now just because of how smooth it is and how nice it feels. I haven't had a single crash or a single issue probably in about a hundred or so hours worth of gameplay so far. Now I do have a link for LD Player in the description as well as a link to BlueStacks as well. But if we go to Profile, go to Settings and we check General, you'll see according to your specs your recommended graphics quality is high and according to your specs your recommended frame rate is high. So I would conclude that LD Player is probably a better emulator for Call of Dragons at this stage. Uh, I just seem to be having a couple of little stability issues on BlueStacks. I have had, I did try Nox Player and Mimu. Uh, Mimu, uh, I had issues with straight away. Uh, Nox Player uh, out of the box is already in compatibility mode, so it worked. Uh, but it did say that the recommended settings was low and low. So I just don't think it's able to utilize the the power of my PC. Now on both of BlueStacks and LD Player, both of the settings are the same. If you have a look, uh, both are using four cores and both are using four gig of RAM. So it's just LD Player's uh, ability to use the computing power that I have. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please leave a comment or if you have anything to add, uh, leave it in the comments section and I'll reply as soon as I can. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more up-to-date content. Uh, and yeah, thanks very much for watching.